Hey guys, Amanda G. Go Go. I'm going to be doing a quick tutorial for you on how to resize an oversized t shirt. Um, so that way it's actually wearable and it's not one of those that just sits in your closet forever and you have no use for it. Um, to start off, there are three of my, these are three of my favorite methods. There's several different methods, but these are my three favorite methods of uh, resizing a shirt. I'm only going to go over one in this video for time's sake, so it's not like a 20 minute video. But uh, the first method is if you have a dress form like this one in my background, you can actually just put the shirt inside out over the dress form and just pin around it, around the shape. So that way it's, you know, the size you want and then just, you know, cut it and then you can pull it off because it's jersey fabric. If it's a t-shirt, it stretches. You can pull it off and just run it through your sewing machine second method is pretty similar, it's the pinch and pin method. Um, you will need a friend for this, unless you are really, really flexible. But uh, you just have the shirt, once again, inside out on your friend or on you, and then somebody who is doing the pinning is just gonna, you know, go up the sides and up the arms and pin it how it needs to be pinned. Then you're gonna carefully pull it off without poking yourself or poking your friend run it through the sewing machine. The third method takes a little more work but not so much in this way you can get kind of a few different shapes or whatever but uh, that's the method I'm going to show you and for that method you will need a t-shirt that does fit you and your oversized t-shirt which I have one here and I'm going to move the camera so that way you can see what I'm doing. Okay so this is a really awkward angle, but hopefully you can see. I've got my oversized t-shirt laying here. This shirt is huge. Yeah. Anyways, I have this shirt. It's way oversized. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my shirt that does fit me. And it's inside out, but it doesn't really matter. I'm going to take my shirt that does fit me, and I'm just going to lay it over this. Now this shirt is shaped a little differently, it's a v-neck, and what you will want to do, actually, if it's a regular shirt, you're going to want to line the collars up and the show shoulders and whatnot, which I guess for easiness sake, I'll do that. Now that I have the shirt on here, pretty much you're just going to go and pin around the uh, larger shirt. So, hopefully you can see my obnoxiously bright yellow pins. You're going to pin through both layers of fabric on just the um, larger shirt. Okay, I'm back and I have it pinned all the way around the edges through both layers of the uh, bottom t-shirt. Now, the kind of tricky part will be the neckline. You have to keep in mind, unless you're doing a regular colored shirt like this, like for instance, I'm doing a v-neck, so whenever I pin for the v, I have to make sure that I only pin the first layer, which will be the front, because if I pin through both layers, then it's going to make this v shape in the front and the back, and I don't particularly want that on my shirt, so I'm going to do a high neck on the back, and then a v in the front, so... I'm going to mark where my V will stop, right here, and I'm going to remove the shirt. So, right here, I don't know if you can see, but where my finger's at, I have a pin, which is just marking where my V is going to go. And so I'm going to pick up my fabric through just the first layer, the top layer, with my hand, so that way when I'm pinning, I make sure that I'm only going through the first layer and not the second as well. And so, when I'm cutting around this V, once again, only through the first layer. And I'm leaving a little bit of space so that way I can do a hem. Since it's a t-shirt, you don't have to do a hem because this material will roll up on itself and it looks fine, you know, as a raw edge. But if you want a more finished look, then you can do a hem. For the
let me just pull this up here so you can see. Okay, so I'm at the bottom of my shirt, and my pins are right here. I don't know if you can see them. Yeah, you can see them. My pins are right here. And so, I'm going to cut a little bit below the pins. So that way, one, this shirt I trace with is a little shorter. And two, I'm going to be making a hem. So, I want to leave enough space where I can roll that hem up and it's not going to um, eat away space. Okay, so now what we're going to do, which hopefully you won't have to do this step because you are smart and you remember to turn your shirt inside out like you're supposed to in the first place. So, you're going to flip your shirt inside out after you've removed all of your pins. Okay, so my shirt is now inside out. And then you're just going to go through and place your pins back where they were. So that way when you put it through the sewing machine, it sews um, on the inside so that way when you turn it right side out, you don't have, you know, all these seams because that's supposed to go on the inside of the shirt, you know. Okay, so we are at our sewing machine. And we turned it on. Okay. Since this is a jersey stretchy material, you are going to want to set your machine to a zigzag stitch because if you do a straight stitch, it's going to make your material kind of bunch up and it'll look like crap. <laughs> um, I know this from experience because I have done this several times before. Um, bunching my material by using a straight stitch because I'm too lazy to push the two buttons to switch to a zigzag. But anyways, you can actually do this on a serger as well. I have a serger sitting next to my sewing machine, but I do not have it um, threaded up and whatnot. And I really don't feel like grabbing my uh, guide out to remember how to re-thread it because I'm new to sergers. But sergers will give it a more finished look and it'll, you know, it'll just look a little more professional. But how many people are going to be turning your shirt inside out and looking at the seam work other than maybe another seamstress? So, sewing so machine will work in this case. Just do a zigzag stitch. Just do All right. So, I hope this tutorial was helpful to you, and I hope you enjoyed it. And hopefully, in the future, I'll do different methods of how to do this. Maybe toss in some uh, ways to shred or cut up your shirts or make them embellished and fancy or whatever if you just get bored of your basic t-shirt. Anyways, just... talk to you later. See y'all. So now that you've done all the